first of all, there, there's just so much white noise out there. Everybody's creating content. Individuals are creating content. It's the entertainment, and I see content as, and entertainment as kind of being dovetailed. It's democratized. So there's so much stuff to look at out there. My challenge as a creative person with a creative agency is how do we find a story that kind of cuts through all that white noise? Because content, you're not just a needle in a haystack, you're a needle in a giant stack of needles. So how do you get noticed? For us, that's kind of the first challenge. And then, you know, we're storytellers. Really, that's what it comes down to. Um, but the difference for us is we can't just tell a story. We have to tell a story that has a specific business outcome that is defined and measurable. Um, you know, one of the things I talked about with the group is content that doesn't have a measurable business result is art, not marketing. You know, a while back, I went to Italy and spent an hour staring up at the Sistine Chapel, right? and I was moved and it was emotional and it was authentic and all those words that content creators strive for. But after an hour of looking at it, it didn't really motivate me to go buy a Fiat, right? Or to order a pizza. I had the experience and I moved on. So our challenge is, is to create those emotional, resonant moments with people, but to create it in a way where we want, or we hope, to affect an outcome, to change a behavior, to change the way someone thinks about a particular brand or a decision they're about to make, and to do it in a way where you're not feeling like you're getting sold something. Because, I mean, look, I'm in this business, and if I feel like I'm getting sold something, I tune out, I move on. The way we interact with a brand is, you know, we don't want to have a discussion with them. But let's talk this out first. It's like any relationship. The more you kind of define your expectations up front, the less likely you're going to be surprised at the end. Like if you're dating someone and three years into it, you discover, wait a minute, she does not want to get married and I really do. That's a problem. Let's talk about that, all that up front. Same thing with a brand. It's a relationship. So let's talk about what does success look like? How do you measure success? Um, you know, what are you trying to accomplish? Uh, and, and for us, that's really sort of the birthplace of content. And we kind of reverse engineer it from there. Like, you start with, you know, what the outcome is going to be, what you want people to do, how you want them to react. And then you begin to fill in backwards what that story is going to be. Um, and, you know, that's kind of how we approach things is, is create a story. Entertain people, don't sell them anything. Um, but entertainment, entertain them in a way where that story is really very carefully crafted to affect a certain kind of behavior once you've listened to that whole story. That's really tough. I mean, there's no simple answer to that. You know, if there was, um, wow, conferences like this probably wouldn't be necessary. We would all just pull out that magic wand. Um, so it's a tough answer, but you have to get there, right? And um, you really have to end up, in my opinion, with a in the end with a story that is authentic to the brand, right? It tells that brand story, but uh, also resonates with, with an audience and is specifically crafted for a particular audience. You know, in our world, one piece of content isn't an answer for everything. We create different content for different platforms. We create different content for different audiences. We create different platform that's built to evoke different kinds of responses, whether it's just kind of an affinity for the brand, something for you to talk about, or something that's measured m more tangibly, where did you buy these shoes? Did you go to that movie? Um, so, you know, there's no simple answer to your question. Um, you just kind of know it when you get there. <laughs>